Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, hey guys, what's up squad? So, first and foremost, I would like to apologize for disappearing <laughs> for a week. Um, that last full moon that we had, that full moon in Sagittarius, really kicked my ass guys like really kicked my ass like I there was so much anger <laughs> there was so much anger that came up with that moon and I know that I'm not um I am not the only one that felt that um I was still watching videos and you know trying to get some clarity you know doing a lot of meditating a lot of going within but also I was staying in tune with channels that I follow and all that and there were a lot of other people that were feeling the rage and rage is kind of like the perfect word for it because it was rage for me at least um it was a lot of divine anger that was I, I was hearing that a lot um divine anger was coming through um and yeah for me it really got to a point now I can I can be a pretty angry person sometimes um but you know when I when I get to a certain point it it Anger isn't even the word for it. It literally is just rage. Um, so I had to hibernate. I had to stay within. I had to stay inside all weekend, which I actually kind of enjoyed, <laughs> to be honest. It was kind of rainy here anyway. But, um, you know, other than going to work, we did have Memorial Day weekend um, last weekend. But, you know, it was it was cloudy and it was raining pretty hard in that, that Sunday morning. So it gave me a really good excuse to just stay in. Um, and I was trying to do a reading um, for the collective but I was so full of rage and anger that I didn't ultimately I didn't think that was the best idea I did channel something um, a message did come through and I wrote it down uh, as the message was coming through I pulled some cards and I wrote it down and you know with intentions to just like bring it to you guys but then by the time I got to the end of it I felt like you know what it's best that I don't put this out there um, even though there was a lot of truth that was coming through, through, even though, you know, a lot, I feel like a lot of us was going to resonate with that, with that message. Cause I was definitely resonating with it. But, um, ultimately once I got it all out, I was like, okay, well I feel better already. And actually in hindsight, I really don't think I should be putting this out there. So instead what I did was I burned it under the full moon, um, the next night in order to like release things, um, on behalf of the collective. Um, for me, uh, Sagittarius is in my fourth house. So I believe that's like your house of like home and like self-respect and relationships and stuff like that. I think, please don't quote me on that. I don't know <laughs> astrology as much as I should, to be honest, but you know what? That's okay. It's a work in progress. It's a lot to study. It's going to take me some time, but, um, a lot of betrayal came to the forefront. Um, and it wasn't like, oh, I see through all y'all, even though in the moment that's what it felt like. It wasn't like, you're all betraying me. I can't trust any of you, blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of how it felt in the moment. But now that I'm looking back on it, it's like, oh no, actually that was just a way for me to heal this victim consciousness that I hold myself in when it comes to loyalty and betrayal and abandonment. I did find out, <laughs> I did come to realize that I have some pretty heavy abandonment issues. And those stem from stem from childhood, okay. Um, and so a lot of a lot of a lot of your wounds that you face as an adult come from almost, if not all, to be honest, start in your childhood. And it could really be something really super tiny and insignificant. But as a child, you perceive it a certain way, and there's that wound, you know. So um, yeah, I was dealing a lot with that, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so again, I apologize for being away for a week and. Um, the Zodiac readings, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Either I'm going to just uh, start them again for the second half of June, or I will start it up for July. I'm debating on whether I want to just do monthly, like one video for the month, or if I want to continue splitting up uh, between, you know, the two sides, um, the two halves of the month. It is a lot of work, um, and I have a pretty heavy schedule anyway. I am working on, you know, making more time for readings, but I also have this shift at Om Shanti Bookstore. Come see me. Om, Om Shanti Bookstore, excuse me, <laughs> um, on 14th Street in Manhattan. But I do have that Monday shift, and, you know, that's reading for six hours straight, and that is paid. Whereas, um, you know, doing these 
the Zodiac readings and the, the Twin Flame readings for the channel, no matter how much I love it, unfortunately, you know, I have to put my energies where it's really going to be, you know, helping me su survive, sustain myself. So I'm debating. I don't want to give them up completely. I'm just trying to rework how I'm going to be doing those. Um, okay, so about the channel. Now, I just want to clarify something. If you are looking for confirmation or information about what your twin is doing, whether that be Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, I am not necessarily the reader for you, okay? Um, you, I'm sure you'll be able to piece some things together. There will be some, there's going to be some information that will come out that you can, you know, you, that will resonate with you in a way that is saying, you know, this is what's going on with my twin. But that is not the ultimate goal of my channel, and it's not the ultimate goal of the readings that I put out, whether these are twin flame readings or not, okay? Um, I am more focused on balance, internal balance, um, the internal balance between masculine and feminine. So with this mirror reading that I'm about to do, oh shoot, I don't have my animal spirit cards, but I'll get them in a second. But with this mirror reading I'm about to do... Um, I, this, I want you to look at this from a point of view of this is what's going on with your masculine, your divine masculine, and your divine feminine energies within, okay? That is the focus of this reading, of these readings moving forward. It was in the past, but I didn't really, you know, I didn't really put it out there as much as I needed to, I realized. So that's why I'm saying it now. Um, moving forward, okay? We, we, I know we all want to be in union. <laughs> I get it. Um... But at the same time, that's not going to happen if you have not found union within yourself. What does that mean? Who the fuck knows? And you know, that's going to that's gonna mean something different for everybody. But the, the focus of what I wish to help you guys with is finding that balance between masculinity and femininity within you. So as you're watching these videos, my videos at least, and I, I, honestly, I would encourage you to do this with the rest of, um, you know, the readings that you find, that you come across. But, um, you know, at least my videos specifically, please look at this as a way to help understand what's going on within your internal balance, okay? Because ultimately, that is the one thing that is going to bring union roaring into your face, all right, when you least expect it. And it's best that you do not approach this with ultimately with union in mind because union even though it's something we all want it's something that is you know meant to be a part of our lives eventually at some point ultimately what it, what's really going on here is us becoming the best versions of ourselves that we can possibly be so that we can show up for the world in the way that they need us to and you can show up for yourself the way you need yourself to and your families and all that stuff right um, twin flames are light workers. Twin flames are healers. Our guides are. They have a pretty heavy responsibility in this world. So, in order to really show up for that, you have to be be as whole as possible. Okay. So, I'm going to be doing a reading for the whole collective now. I'm not doing a reading for um, you know split like twins in separation or those in union. This is just a reading for everybody, mainly because I missed last week. Now, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep it this way. Um, I'm feeling like I might want to just because ultimately we're all on the journey. And um, if you're resonating with my videos, if you found yourself here um, just because you were drawn to it, then there are messages here for you, whether you're in union or not, okay? Uh, whether even if you're in communication or not. So don't even worry about that. Um, so yeah, I think I just heard, and I think I'm going to keep it this way for the future, but uh, don't quote me on that. We'll see how that goes. All right, guys. So here's what's going to happen. I have got, um, so this is a mirror reading, okay? And I do offer these readings um, for personal readings. Um, we, it consists of two decks here. We have the first deck, which is whew, the deck on the left is going to be, it's going to symbolize the divine masculine. This is the Tarot Apocalypsis deck. Beautiful, beautiful deck. The next deck, which is going to be symbolizing the divine feminine here is the Arcanum deck. Now, Arcanum, Arcanum, I don't know, however you want to say that, but I love this deck. This is, this has become my main deck for all things. Um, and it really wanted to come through it really wanted to be in this reading today um so i decided to oblige um 
normally I would be using the, uh, the Book of Shadows Tarot, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, this one really wanted to come through today. Yeah, and then I'm going to finish off, <coughs> excuse me, 1111 on the counter. I'm going to finish off the reading with a relationship spread, Lord have mercy, from the Animal Spirit deck, this one right here. Gorgeous deck. Like, that deck is the truth, guys. I love it. Please excuse me for a second. I need to drink some water. Mm. All right. All right, everybody. Let's get into this, shall we? Ooh. Okay, so uh, we are all connecting <clears throat> for this reading at this moment in time. Please understand that time and space are an illusion. So I am going to ask you all to settle in with me, okay? Take a deep breath. Clear your minds. And let's all just connect for a second. Mm, hey guys. <laughs> All right, cool. So, here we go. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective. Please bring forward the best messages for the Twin Flames at this moment in time. Please give us an accurate representation of the Divine Masculine, represented by the deck on the left, and the Divine Feminine, represented by the deck on the right. And please show us how their energies as individuals are interacting with each other as counterparts, as soulmates, as Divine Partners, as Twin Flames, yes? Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to start with the Divine Masculine's deck. So let's shuffle this up for a moment here. Divine Masculine. You're, you're ready to go, aren't you, Divine Masculine? Okay, cool. One more shuffle. Excellent. And we will cut the deck. All right. So, Divine Masculine, your energy is set. I'm going to set your deck right up there. Next, let's get into the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. How you doing, girl? All right. Yeah, two more shuffles for you, Divine Feminine. One. And two. Hmm. I'm seeing, I'm seeing um, a lot of pink energy around the Divine Feminine. I'm also seeing a lot of blue energy around the Divine Masculine. Um, so for you, Divine Feminine, this is you accepting, uh, integrating more with unconditional love. For the Divine Masculine, this is you <laughs> getting down to the truth and nothing but the motherfucking truth. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, really, you guys are, um, Divine Masculine is really working with seeing the truth for what it is, um, speaking truthfully, speaking their personal truths. If you're not actively doing this right now, Divine Masculine, <clears throat> Uh, or if the Divine Masculine in you is not um, really pushing you to speak your truth, to speak some sort of truth in some sort of way. And now I'm seeing white underneath this blue energy for the Divine Masculine. So there is a lot of pure divinity coming through with the divine, towards the, or coming through with the Divine Masculine energies. So this is um, influencing truth to be coming out. So if you're not feeling this push to be truthful, be authentic, um, divine masculines and, 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 well, yes, I'm going to speak to divine masculine individuals that are watching this video right now, but also divine feminines who are working with your divine masculine energy. If you're not feeling this push to be truthful, you will be soon. Okay. Oof, ringing in the ears. And then, so from the divine feminine energies, the divine feminine energies are really holding, um, unconditional love right now. Um, and so divine feminines, uh, physically individuals, I'm speaking to you right now, um, you may be going through a lesson in, in unconditional love and shh, 
Gucci. Yeah. Okay. Um, underneath your, uh, starting off with you, I'm going to start with you, Divine Feminine. We're going to get into your cards now. Please excuse me. There's a lot of intense energy rushing through me and I'm stumbling a little bit with my words, but that's okay. We've got the Knight of Swords. All right, so this is talking about the divine masculine energy within you, divine feminine individuals, that is coming forward with truth, okay? Um, and I, I really want to caution against making any rash decisions, being too harsh. Um, you gotta, you got to remain tactful. It is okay to hold this Knight of Swords energy, but you need to temper it. You need to be very cautious in how you use it because we don't want to create any neg negative karma. We don't want to put forth any sort of resistance. Um, divine Feminines that are, are really feeling the push to speak some sort of truth to your Divine Masculine, be very, very careful how you do this, okay? I mean, ultimately, really the worst case scenario is that you're just going to create a, a shit ton of resistance. And at this point, we don't want that, okay? So be truthful, be honest with yourself and with others, but don't use that to cut anybody down. Don't try to be malicious. Don't let your ego get in the way and like try and like generate any five of swords energy. I hope that doesn't come up here, but we'll see if it does. Um, but that's starting off for the Divine Feminine. Yeah. And then we've got, woo -hoo, we've got the Ten of Swords in reverse, and we've got the Four of Swords upright, and then underneath all of that, we've got the pay, oh, I'm sorry, the Two of Pentacles, okay? So, this is why, Divine Feminine, you are feeling this Knight of Swords energy. This is why um, you are feeling, you might, you very well may be. Now, I do feel like I am connecting with a lot of people that have come into balance, are starting to come into balance. Um, with masculine and feminine energies. So this could be why some of you divine feminines are now stepping into your masculine power and all of this truth is wanting to come rushing out, okay? <laughs> because of this Ten of Swords in reverse. You're done with the heartbreak. You're done with the backstabbing. But it's not even like you're done with it in the sense now you're going to fight. No, you learned through this. You learned a whole lot of shit with whatever this completion is for you, Divine Feminine. And so now you are ready to start moving forward with this truth. And I am picking up some energy of moving forward, and this actually, this is why it's coming out as the Knight of Swords, because there are intentions of, of fucking shit up, okay? <laughs> and I understand that. And as we are in this, where we are standing right now, um, within this spiritual war that's going on, that's been raging forever, um, it's time to start stepping up. It's time to start being honest, being truthful, and letting truth fight for us instead of fighting with ego. You know what I mean? Like, this is not us being those type of light workers that are saying, um, that are being overly righteous for no real good reason. Um, this is us being light workers and just bringing the truth forward and letting the truth be our ammunition, letting the truth be our sword. So this is why it's coming out as the Knight of Swords. But you still want to temper that. You still want to here take some, take a break with the Four of Swords. Take a break, rest, let your mind settle, meditate frequently, divine feminine and divine masculine. Meditate as much as you possibly can. You cannot medicate too much. You cannot, at this point in time, you can, or at, at this point in the process, you cannot meditate too much. The more you meditate, the more it will help you, okay? Um, and I just saw 44 on the counter, um, and we were talking about the Four of Swords. I have been seeing 44 and 144, 411 a lot lately. So that's a good thing. Um, so if any of us, any of you are experiencing that as well, there it is. Um, there's that synchronicity and there's been a lot of number synchronicities like it's kind of insane sometimes How many they're just one after another every once in a while. Okay, so anyway, but then we have the two of pentacles in reverse So this is another caution when it comes to this knight of swords energy be very careful Okay, be very careful how you use this energy don't let it come out of come out of balance. Some of you might be feeling unbalanced materially because of this Knight of Swords energy. You feel the intensity of this truth just wanting to burst forward, but you know you can't just let it go 
all willy-nilly because of this Four of Swords energy. You know how intense it is, how, how much it's needed in this world right now with this Ten of Swords in reverse, but you understand the delicacy of the situation, what the, which is what the Two of Pentacles in reverse is saying, and also in conjunction with the Four of Swords. You understand the delicacy of this situation, so just be very cautious. But for the most part, Divine Feminine, you are on the right track. Continue in your warrior state, okay? Because this is who we are. This is what we're meant to be. This is what we're here to do. All right? Bring this truth forward is what the universe is saying. Allow the masculinity within you to direct you, to direct your course of action. Understand that your feminine aspect is the magnetic. The masculine aspect is the electric, okay? So the masculine energies are coming forward right now for you, Divine Feminine, and helping you understand what action steps to take to fulfill your mission, okay? Moving forward, we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Very nice. With oh, the Empress in reverse. Okay, so very good, Divine Feminine. Very, very good. What we have here is detachment. The Four of Pentacles in reverse is releasing this whole... Please, I don't know if y'all can see this, but... And I'm totally outing myself if you can't, but please... Please disregard this one nail that decided to, <laughs> that decided to break down on me <laughs> right before this reading. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just vanity, whatever. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that for any of you that can see that. But anyway, so we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Empress in reverse. So this is us Divine Feminines moving into, really moving, stepping into our true Divine Feminine power. Not this obsessive um, chaser... Um, you know, over dramatic, smother type energy. This is stepping back and sitting on our throne and saying, okay, well, I'm just gonna do my thing over here and I'm gonna let you do your thing over there and we'll come back together when we're ready. Period. Okay? This is the divine feminine moving into a deeper sense of detachment. And I need to tell you guys, I thought I was detached. Um, <laughs> until the universe threw some shit in my face that came out over the this last full moon and I was like, damn, I'm really not as detached as I thought I was. This is also talking about releasing expectations, Divine Feminine. Um, that was a hard lesson for me to learn. I didn't realize, well, I knew eventually I, it started to come become apparent that I was getting wrapped up in expectation of things. And I asked the universe to help me. I asked God to help me with that. And they sure did. Let me tell you. <laughs> they sure did. Um, I, I, I won't get into that right now. I don't feel it's necessary. If it comes up later, we'll talk about it. But let's just say the universe gave me what I was asking for. So there you have it. Moving forward, Divine Feminine, we have the star in reverse. All right. Okay. I'm picking up despair. I'm picking up loss of hope. But I'm also picking up a, a, a moment of healing. I'm also hearing a transition. Transitioning from one state to another. Um, some of you do feel like your wishes are not coming true. But understand that the star, look, the star is here in these two. I'm seeing these two um, um, pictures that this woman is pouring out as twins, okay? As two counterparts. Um, and so I'm picking up that a lot of us divine feminines are feeling lack of lack of hope, and I understand that. I was definitely in that space. Um, but let me get this next card and see what we have with it. Ah, and judgment in reverse. Okay, so um, yeah, there's a blockage here, divine feminine, and that blockage here is um, yeah, wow. It's I, what I literally just heard is not ascending. Okay. And, and this is what we're talking about when it comes in terms of releasing attachment and releasing expectations. Um, and this is also, okay, this also has to do with, um, <laughs> there is a truth that some of you want to bring to your physical divine masculine um, because many of us are done with feeling backstabbed. Um, but I do feel like what the Ten of Swords in reverse is also saying here, I am backtracking a bit, but there are more messages coming through now. The, the Ten of Swords in reverse is also talking about being stuck in this backstabbing energy, being stuck in this energy of feeling betrayed, of feeling abandoned, of feeling left out in the cold, um, and not necessarily releasing it. 
And what the Four of Swords is saying here is, is time to, to go within. Okay, this is not a hermit moment, but it is mentally, you, you got to go within and de-stress, okay? Because what the star in reverse is saying here is that your dream, wishes are being fulfilled. Healing is happening, but you may not see it on the surface. And so as a result, you are being called, or many of us are being called. I know I just went through this period, but many of us are being called to rise above everything, to stop focusing so much on the material, Okay, stop focusing so much on the material aspect of things, Divine Feminine. Stop focusing so much on what, you were, what you're experiencing in the 3D. Don't pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to that shit. It's all an illusion, okay? Focus on the energetic reality. Focus on the spiritual reality. Focus on, and I know some of you are going to be like pissed off that I'm about to say this um, because I, I reached a point where I was like, I don't even want to know you in the 5D anymore. You know what I mean? But actually... That's really where we need to be doing most of our work right now because we are in, because this union thing is already a thing. Like we're already in union guys. So it's really just a matter of getting the third dimensional reality to catch up to what's already a spiritual fourth and fifth dimensional reality. So that's where you really need to be focusing your attention on the higher planes, on the fourth dimension even on the fifth dimension mostly, but if you want to work in the fourth dimension too, you can. I, I just feel like it's best to work in the fifth right now, but if you feel like you need to work in the fourth, go for it, okay? But leave all the bullshit of the third 3D reality behind. Don't even focus on it. And honestly, okay, it's coming out. So um, when I was talking about how I was praying for help in releasing expectation, I got blocked. <laughs> randomly i just got blocked i don't know when it happened i don't know why it happened uh, honestly if it was going to happen it should have happened a long time ago <laughs> given the circumstances of what's been going on on my personal journey but i got blocked and so now i'm like oh shit what the fuck is going on and the universe was like well what are you so afraid of don't pay attention to that don't pay attention to it focus on what you know to be true okay and um you know, a message came through of, um, you know, not paying attention to what the Divine Masculine is doing in the physical realm and paying more attention to what the Divine Masculine is saying and the feelings that you're getting telepathically from him or her in the fifth dimension, in the ethereal realms, okay? So just forget about what's going Literally, judgment in reverse is saying... Forget about what is going on in the three-dimensional reality and rise above it. Focus on your mission work. Focus on what you need to do for yourself to keep yourself going, to keep yourself well, to keep yourself on your path. Don't focus on your divine masculine. Let him do what he's going to do. He needs to walk, he or she needs to walk their paths, okay? You can't, you have no control over that. Focus on finding your connection with the divine masculine within. That is your job right now. Divine Feminine, okay? Moving forward. We have... Look at that. The sun. And it's upright, y'all. Okay, Divine Feminine, relax. Honestly. You got this. The sun is shining. We're, you know, we... And it's so funny because it's like you... The, the, the sun is also saying, look at the bright side of everything. Look at what you tr do have in this world, in this life. If you want to focus on the three-dimensional reality, focus on your three-dimensional blessings. How about that? Don't focus on what you what you perceive as things are going wrong. No. Because honestly, things might be crumbling because they need to. Don't worry about that, okay? We've also got the Ten of Wands. Excellent. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> here's the flip side of the coin. Yeah, the sun is shining. But we feel like we've got a lot of burdens. What I'm really, what there's a big message coming through here with the sun and the ten of wands. Allow the sun that's now shining to illuminate all of the burdens that you need to let go of. Okay. Um, it's also there's also a message where if you feel like you've taken on too much, like everything that you're handling right now is too taxing understand that the sun is shining and everything is going to work out perfectly. Even if there are things that you can't really let go of right now. Like for me personally, I have a lot of different places that I'm working and I really, really would like to be able to do more in the way of readings, but that's just not the case right now. Um, and it's okay because, and the sun is shining. Why? Because I can still do the readings. I still have opportunities to do these readings. I just 
have to, um, you know, get through some cycles first. Who knows? But ultimately, if you feel like you're carrying a lot of burdens, the sun is saying, don't worry about it. You're doing a great job. Just keep going. You've got the strength and the illumination to carry, to, to carry through with this, to follow through with this, okay? This is also a message for Divine Feminine. This is also a message for those of you that are um, um, facing this lack of hope, this lack of faith with the star in reverse, and you're feeling like this path is too burdensome. <sighs> okay, <laughs> the universe is asking me to remind everyone that we did in fact choose this. Guys, we chose this, guys. <laughs> We did, and I know it's, <laughs> how can you say that? Well, it's true. Ultimately, we chose the life we were going to live when we reincarnated this time. We set the stage, we wrote the script with our twins, with all the other people that wanted to come into life with us, experience life with us, go through lessons with us and all that. We, I mean, this is all scripted. Free will comes into play, yeah, but your free will, ultimately, as I have come to understand it, free will is a choice of whether to go with the flow or to resist. <laughs> okay? But ultimately, we came into this life for a specific reason, and so it feels, it feels like it's too much of a burden, but the sun says, oh, no, no, you can do this. You can do this. Finally, for the divine feminine... Whoa! <laughs> Why, my, my, that wanted to jump out. We've got the Two of Wands in reverse, and we've got the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups was coming out upright, but it also, when it flew out of the deck, it landed sideways, okay? Um, so this is a message of, I'm going to keep it upright here because ultimately it is upright. But this is also, that land, it landing sideways was um, a lot of people feeling indifferent or feeling like this Ten of Cups isn't really coming. Um, because we do have the star in reverse, which is talking about a lack of hope. But the Two of Wands in reverse is saying that um, there is no need to choose. There is no need to feel like you have to choose someone else. Ultimate fulfillment is here, Divine Feminine. Your ultimate family life, your ultimate emotional reality, all the things that you feel like would really fill your cup are here. But what I'm also picking up here with the Ten of Cups is that Divine Feminine, you don't need to take on this Two of Wands energy because you're filling your cups yourself. And if you're not doing that right now, you need to be doing that. You have the power. You, the Two of Wands is literally saying to me in reverse, it's saying you don't need anybody else to fill your cups, Divine Feminine. You can do it yourself. You can do it yourself. Be your own Ten of Cups. Give your own, give yourself that fulfillment, that that um, satisfaction, that companionship, that unconditional love. Right? You really, honestly, you really don't need anybody else to fill your cups for you. Yes, you will come around people that will want to help you feel better, but ultimately, that's really only only going to come if you're giving yourself that energy to begin with. Right? Right. Okay. But ultimately, this is good. I really like, I'm really liking the energy that I'm getting from the Two of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Cups because ultimately, that is, that is saying to me that a lot of us Divine Feminines, and if you haven't reached this point yet, you will be soon as you move through your journey. Um, but a lot of um, us are coming to the realization that we really don't need to make a choice. There's no other choice to be made. And yeah, it sucks that we're on this journey and it's so rough sometimes, but at the same time, it's like, I, I, I'm starting to really enjoy this journey. I'm really starting to see the value in this journey. I'm really starting to see how much I've changed and grown within this journey. So I don't have to choose between finding someone else and sticking with my twin. I don't. Because ultimately, I am building this Ten of Cups energy right here, right now. And so are the rest of you. And so will you be too as you move through your journey and you do the work and your healing that you need to do to feel better for you. It's not even like you need to feel better for your twin, for your divine masculine. Like, nah, F that. Feel better for you, divine feminine, right? 
Right. Getting into the masculine energies. All right. So masculine energies, divine masculine energies are still feeling a lot of remorse. Five of cups. Um, and divine feminines, um, you could be feeling this. What I'm picking up for divine. Now I didn't get, I'll go back. I'll go back in divine masculine. I'll go back and talk to you about some things that you can point, pick out for the, the feminine within you that are coming through in the feminine spread. But for the divine feminines right now, I'm going to talk to you. Um, I, I want you to know, uh, well, I, I want to bring forward that you could be feeling this energy within yourself. Um, and this is mostly, this is mostly a message for those of you that are in the process of balancing your masculine and feminine energies. Your, your masculine energy within you is trying to, I'm literally seeing him trying to reach out towards you and reconcile with you like this woman with the five, in the five of cups. Okay. And a lot of, I know when I went through my period, when I was really trying to, I was really working on balancing my masculine and feminine energies, I came to the realization that I was shooting myself in the foot by holding on to the pain that feminine energies feel towards masculine energies because of all the bullshit that's happened. Like I literally had to just put that aside and look at my, my masculine energies and be like, okay, let's just squash this. Let's just not even talk about the past. I don't even want to talk about that. Okay. Let's just reconcile. And my masculine energies were like, thank you. That's all I've been asking for. And so that actually does translate into my physical life because I, I mean, I'm still in separation. We do not talk. And obviously he just blocked me. I told you about that. But, um, I, d when we do reconcile, when we do like come back together and start talking to each other again, I don't even want to discuss the past. I mean, I'm sure there are some things that are going to need to be said, but as a whole, like, I'm really just like, I'm in a position where, where I'm willing to say to him, okay, you just let me know what you need to get off your chest and we can talk about that. Otherwise, I'm good. I'm Gucci. Like, I, I really don't have anything else to say. Um, like, I would I definitely would apologize, but I, it's like, I don't really even need to discuss anything anymore. I just want to move forward. And that's what's going on with you, Divine Feminines, who are trying to balance your masculine and feminine energies. This is the energy that is coming forward for you, towards you, tw from your masculinity towards your femininity, okay? But... Back to the Divine Masculine. So Divine Masculine, a lot of you are still feeling this Five of Cups energy, this remorse, this regret for the things that have happened on the path. But this is also much deeper. This is ancestral. So this is what you are working on healing when it comes to um, the, the, the ancestral masculinity, okay? Um, there is a lot of regret and a lot of remorse in the collective about what has gone on in this patriarchy over the past few centuries. And so now, Divine Masculines, not only are you feeling this towards this regret and this remorse towards what has gone on within, within your situation with your twin, but you're also feeling it, it's rooted, it's stemming from, you know, this energy that you're trying to clear out, you're working towards clearing out on an ancestral collective level. Okay. I hope that, I really hope that made sense. Oh man. So look, we've got mirroring already. We've got the 10 of wands. Okay. we also have the seven of pentacles in reverse. And then underneath all of that, we've got the eight of cups. Okay. So here's the scoop y'all. Divine feminine, I'm sorry, divine masculine um, is feeling burdened with the Ten of Wands here. But I'm really feeling this is as a, as a good thing because I'm feeling like this Five of Cups energy is influencing, is starting to get you, is starting to get you to understand divine masculine just how burdened you are. And so now you're getting into, if you're already not in this energy, divine masculine, you are going to be in this energy soon of Seven of Pentacles in reverse. No longer procrastinating is what I'm hearing. Um, taking the, oh, I heard two things, taking the energy steps, which are then going to lead to taking the action steps. Okay. And that's a very, very good thing. I would absolutely influence, influence you, um, and encourage you to continue to allow this five of cups energy to reveal all of these burdens. Because again, it's, this is much more than just you feeling remorseful, um, over what you what has gone on with on your journey with your twin. This is also you starting to feel the remorse and the regret from centuries 
of abuse, okay? And ultimately, with the Eight of Cups here, this is the, these are those action steps that I was talking about that are going to be influenced by the energetic steps that you are starting to take. This is you ultimately walking away from everything that does not serve you. I'm also seeing this as you um, walking away, in a sense, from like the, the what has gone on from masculine energies over you know time over the centuries walking away in the sense that you're healing you're actively helping to heal these things this is how you would be walking away quote from this past hurt and energy okay moving forward in your storyline we have the strength card in reverse and that's really interesting because the sun for the Divine Feminine was giving me a lot of strength energy, okay? Here for the Divine Masculine, um, strength is in reverse. We also have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So this is related to that Five of Cups energy. A lot of you Divine Masculines are not feeling worthy enough. The Five of Cups energy may be tripping you up a little bit because you know your wish fulfillment in the Nine of Cups is here, but you do not feel like you have the strength, you do not feel like you have the integrity, the audacity, the balls, the, the gumption to go for it, to get what you want. You do not, you may not feel like you are worthy of this, okay? Um, and so <laughs> that could be causing you to act out in some pretty egoic ways. Um, because the strength card can talk about an inflated ego. Um, yes. So Divine Feminine, this is also an, ex an example of how... Um, uh, this is an example of letting go of the illusion of the three-dimensional reality. Because if your Divine Masculine is doing things from a place of ego, you need to understand that that's their ego. That's not really the truth ultimately of what's of what's really going on okay you got to understand that okay divine masculine moving forward we have the seven of cups in reverse with the world in reverse interesting so i'm picking up some resistance i'm definitely picking up some resistance here um, towards the endings of this cycle, okay? But it's not its not as bad as you think, to be honest. Um, divine Feminine, don't freak out. Um, your Divine Masculine, this does not mean that your Divine Masculine is staying stuck in this Seven of Cups energy. That's not what it means at all. What this actually, what I'm picking up here is that this is the cycle ending, okay? This is the process of the cycle ending. There could be some last upheavals, yeah? Some last big upheavals. That, are, that need to happen before the world can turn upright and this cycle can be completed. But what I am seeing with the Seven of Cups reversed is that, um, you know, wishful thinking, uh, uh, holding, keeping doors open, keeping options open, realities like that are coming to a close, okay? It's just in the process of happening. So Divine Masculine, if you're feeling, if you're struggling through this, if you're really feeling like you, you know, you're struggling to get through this, don't worry about it because ultimately this will all end. Okay. Moving forward. We've got the Four of Wands. See, I told you this was going to end and you're going to find that stability. You're going to have that strength and that wherewithal. 44, 44 on the counter. You're going to have that strength and that wherewithal and that gumption, those cojones to really move forward with your life. And to go after the things that you want, even though you feel like if you were to approach your Divine Feminine in this moment, she would reject you. She might right now just because it would be too hasty. Okay, so this is where your energy of the, where the energy of the Knight of Swords with it, when it comes to the Divine Feminine energy is kind of expressing itself through you sometimes, Divine Masculine, because... Some of you already feel this Four of Wands energy. Now, this is a union card, okay? Um, this is foundation. This is stability. This is good foundations. You are you feel like this foundation is already there, but you could also be getting trapped in the illusion of what's going on in the 3D and thinking that your Divine Feminine would not um, accept you should you come forward. In, in some cases... Um, she might reject you, but she, she, I think what you feel is rejection is her like firing back and being like, well, you did X, Y, and Z. And it's like, and yeah, <laughs> that's what that Knight of Swords energy is. And okay, but she's still not rejecting you. 
She's just saying her piece. Now, Divine Feminine, be careful, okay? This is where that Knight of, Knight of Swords energy is at play. You don't necessarily need to slice and dice just to get back at your Divine Masculine now that he's coming forward again, okay? If should he come forward again. Woo, wow, there is a lot coming through. So there's that Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands is coupled with, whoa, the Empress. And the Empress is upright. Okay, look, divine, masculine. Like, okay, this is our other instance of mirroring. Yeah, because we've got the Empress coming up in both. Look, divine, masculine. Your divine feminine wants reconciliation. And this is also speaking about the divine feminine energy within you. You guys have a good foundation. Anyway, this is why you don't even really need to talk about anything from the past. Because the more you talk about it, it's just going to keep those cycles going. It's just going to keep those wounds open. Forget it. Release it. Because now we're at the point where we've learned the lessons from it. And this, this foundation that is being speak, spoken of in the Four of Wands is something that you can never lose. So this is why it's okay to not have to, quote, hash it out and just move forward with existence. Just move forward stronger with more appreciation for each part of yourself, okay? Holy shit, I can't believe that came out like that. That's amazing. That's really, really amazing. So within your divine, with your divine feminine energies within, because um, you are needing to reconcile um, there, but you're Gucci. You are Gucci, Divine Masculine, so you don't have to worry about it. So I would suggest you approach your Divine Feminine energies within first, before you decide, before you make any sort of plans to approach your Divine Feminine in your external world, okay? Work on just, yes, 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 yes. Work on bringing this to completion within first, okay? Then once you feel good, because ultimately once you, once you reconcile within, then you can feel like your strength is returned and you can have the balls to move forward with what you truly want, which is coming towards your divine feminine in the external world. It's what she wants too, guys. <laughs> Speaking from experience here, it's what she wants too. And, to, and, and no, she doesn't really have intentions of rejecting you because at this point, we're so done with the drama. Hello, Ten of Swords in reverse. If you're resonating with the Ten of Swords in reverse, like you're really just ready to release the drama, this is the truth, Divine Masculine, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? Finally, for you, Divine Masculine, we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Swords. Okay, well, look. Yeah, no wonder the Ace of Wands is in reverse because you got all this deceptive en energy around. Okay? There are some Divine Masculines out there that have... I'm really... I'm going to put this out there because this is how I'm... I'm literally... This is how I'm seeing the card, this Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm seeing um, impotence. So there are some of you divine masculines out there that could be losing your mojo a little bit. And now I'm not saying this, I'm not saying this because, um, you know, it's going to be, I'm not saying that it's going to be gone forever. What I'm saying is this is, uh, your higher self retracting these energies from you because of the deception that's going on, because the, in the situations you may be getting into, um, and that obviously this is sexual in nature, but the situations that you're getting into are, ra are are like just just seeping, seeping. I don't even know if that's a, a real word, but it's like dripping in deception from you and from this other person that you're interacting with. And these are not things that you really want to be associating with anymore. So if you're having trouble, yeah. Okay, yes, seven of cups in reverse and the world in reverse. This is that resistance I was talking about. If you're having trouble letting go of all these options, keeping your options open, um, you know, hooking up with a bunch of other people or whatnot, eventually your higher self is going to kick in and be like, yeah, okay, shutting that down. Bye. <laughs> all right, but this is also... On the flip side of this, the Ace of Wands in Reverse is also talking about many of you Divine Masculines having, feeling the, feeling the drive, the inspiration to want to move forward with a new project, but not being able to 
because of the deception that has been um, expressed or experienced in the past. This could be on your on your part, divine masculine, towards your divine feminine, or this could be on your divine feminine's part towards you, or this just could be deception from past situations in your life that have caused you to not really move forward with the things that you truly desire because you don't want to get hurt. And that is perfectly understandable, okay? Perfectly understandable. Um, so give me just a second here. Um, the Divine Feminine Energies have a lot of ending, endings here. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. The Divine Masculine Energies, Sevens are standing out for me the most. I mean, there's only two in the spread right now. We've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Oh, no, I'm sorry. There's three of them. That's why. We've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. So Divine Masculine, the... Uh, spirit, there are a lot of, there's a lot of lucky energy around you. There's a lot of spiritual energy around you. There's a lot of wisdom, wise energy flowing within towards you. Um, yeah. So getting back into the message for divine masculine, getting back into the message of things that are going on with your divine feminine within. Um, really the only other thing that I want to point out other than, you know, just reconcile with your inner divine feminine first, um, integrate your feminine energies first. That way it's going to be easier and you're going to, you're going to be much stronger, much more confident to, to approach your divine feminine in the external. Um, but understand the, really the one thing I want to point out the most for you, divine masculine, when it comes to integrating your divine feminine energies, you don't have to worry about all these burdens that you feel that you're holding when it comes to reconciling within because ultimately you have the sun here okay the divine feminine within you is saying look i'm shining this sun because all of those burdens mean nothing like just come forward towards me and watch all these burdens that you feel you have to carry burn away in an instant why is that because right underneath in your spread divine masculine you have the four of wands with the empress this foundation that you have with your feminine energy within is unbreakable. It's unstoppable. Okay? You two are a force to be reckoned with. You are a force to be reckoned with on your internal reality. And once you come together in the external man, talk about power couple. The world has not seen the type of power couple that's about to emerge when it comes to twin flames. Period. So you don't have to worry about this. Reconciliation, it really ain't no thing. It really just ain't no thing. It's inevitable. It's what we both want, okay? So you don't have to worry. But to make it easier on yourself, please work on the reconciliation internally. I mean, and honestly, that's something that makes perfect sense because that's something that I've been saying for a very long time. Your external reality is a, is a representation, a direct mirror, a direct representation of your internal reality, okay? So, now I know that's getting confusing. I feel some of you already asking, but Eric, you're still in separation and you've been talking about how, you know, you're, um, you're balancing out your masculine and feminine energies. I, you're right. And I just heard us say we still have some more work to do, but we're actually in a much better place than we were before. And so that's causing a ripple effect. I am seeing the, ex I, I am seeing how people around me are starting to, adjust a little bit when it comes to understanding who I am more like yes I put forth femininity quite a bit more but there are all there are still some times where the masculinity comes out in me and even I have to step back for a second and be like oh shit like damn <laughs> you know you know so I mean you guys get it okay let's move forward because I feel like I'm, I'm rambling at this point uh, let me get into the animal spirit cards here, and I'm going to pull this um, relationship reading, yeah? Okay. Here we go. So... First card, this is going to symbolize the divine masculine's position in the relationship right now. One card, please, spirit. 
for the Divine Masculine. Ooh, we've got Raccoon. For the Divine Feminine, one card please, Spirit. Divine Feminine. We've got the Golden Egg. Aw, ain't that sweet. The uh, Shadow Dynamic of the Relationship. One card please, Spirit. We've got Elk, and then the Illuminated Dynamic is Gazelle. Alrighty, guys. So let's get into the book here. All right, Divine Masculine, you are symbolized as Raccoon currently. Mm hmm. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay. Raccoon, talented, shadowy, in hiding. Raccoon energy is at play within all artists to greater or lesser degrees. At best, it indicates talent tenacity, and skillfulness with a particular musical instrument or creative tool. Wow. Its shadow side points to an unresolved issue of self-image and success. Sometimes using a stage name or wearing a quote masks, mask works in an artist's favor. Other times it limits creativity. Am I who my audience thinks I am? What if I am ready to grow into something more? Raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until this creative ego fear is resolved. When in balance, Raccoon is generous, is a generous friend and exceptional artist. When out of balance, Raccoon is competitive and a starving artist. To bring into balance, one must make new work. Now, a lot of us twins um, are very, very artistically inclined. I know I am. So is my twin. So, um, I mean, this... <laughs> Wow, that card couldn't be any more perfect. But um, when it comes to, in terms of the, the, the collective, divine masculine energies uh, are very much in hiding because of needing to reconcile this whole situation of the false mask that the patriarchy has forced them to wear. And that absolutely, so this card is directly related to um, the reconciliation between masculine and feminine energies that are going on internally right now. Okay. Excellent. Divine Feminine, you are the golden egg. Give me just a second here. Okay. Golden egg. Message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides, uh, oh, deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg means warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga, nidra, or meditation. If you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. You see, I was telling you, Divine Feminine, Y'all gotta meditate as much as you possibly can. Please, <laughs> please, you cannot meditate too much. You really cannot. Don't let anybody tell you that you can that you're meditating too much. Nah, fuck that. Meditate, y'all. All right. If you do not ha yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart, staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. Advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. The golden egg and the fourth chakra. The subtle essence of the golden egg is nestled within the heart chakra at the fourth, I'm sorry, within the heart center at the fourth chakra. This chakra called Anahata is, a, is the home of the self or soul. By bringing the mind into its center, we discover, by a, we discover a portal to the most intimate and luminous space. It is said our inner guide sits there in deep meditation, waiting for us. Anahata translates as the unstruck sound. Um, 
yeah, divine feminine. See, look, we got to meditate. We got to go within. We got to calm our minds, okay? Because ultimately, if we if we allow this Knight of Swords energy to just run amok, it's going to just create more resistance, more negative karma that we're going to have to work through. And it's just like, it's ain't nobody got time for that shit no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yes, yes, Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine does really want to come rushing towards you. But he just can't right now. So don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, the shadow dynamic is Elk. Where you at, Elk? Where you at? Aha, Elk. Stable, resilient, headstrong, the father. The great elk represents the earth element in its masculine form. This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many changes. An elk personality, whether male or female, is fully established in themselves and, know their and knows their core values. They become known and respected for acting in ways that uphold those values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated, but for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. When imbalanced, elk is supportive, kind, and consistent. When out of balance, elk is pretentious and high and mighty. To bring into balance, one must eat and drink more consciously. All right, so this really is um, a representation of masculine energy coming forward and um, being who they truly are, okay? And this is the shadow dynamic. It's the shadow dynamic because this is something we really need to work on right now. And honestly, as a collective, we can help, we can help work this out by, like, say, divine feminines, reconciling with your inner divine masculine and letting your masculinity shine, letting your masculinity do its work through you, Right? That will help influence ma the greater divine masculine to come forward. Is really what I'm picking up here. Okay. Lord, there's a lot of kinetic energy right now, guys. My nose is itching like crazy. All right. Finally, the illuminated dynamic is elk. Don't mind that other voice. That's just my roommate. Say hi. <laughs> Um, sorry guys, elk, where is elk, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, not elk, gazelle, here we go. Heightened awareness and, ab and ability, vulnerable. The gazelle represents supreme grace. With every move, this awe-inspiring beauty emits sophistication and elegance. Gazelle personalities are often hyper-aware of their surroundings, bordering on hyper-vigilant. And this can inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating. No more worrying about all those predators out there in the wild. When this card appears, it's time to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath, and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Let it nourish your gentle spirit. When in balance, elk is graceful, perceptive, and artistic. When out of balance, elk has food allergies, insomnia, and a racing mind. To bring into balance, one must practice yin yoga, a have a... Uh, be in the comfort of a cozy home, or just have some good food. Okay, so this is really talking about what I mentioned before. I think it was during the Divine Feminine's <clears throat> energies. Um, just appreciate the moment, you know? Appreciate the blessings that you have now. Yes, it was with the sun. Um, appreciate what is going well for you now. Don't focus on the lack, okay? Because that's not, <laughs> that's really just not going to help you. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's it. There it is, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm, I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, I apologize for disappearing for a week, but I'm on this journey too, guys. And so, uh, and I want to be, I want to be here for you guys, for everyone, for all of us. But if I'm not in a good place, it's really not the best thing for me to do to just throw a reading out there because that that really could just be a disaster. <laughs> it could become one big trigger. Um, uh, my ego would most likely get in the way and the messages really wouldn't be able to come through as they need to. Uh, it's just not a good idea. It's not a good look. So thank you for your patience and your compassion. Um, I love you all and I look forward to speaking with you guys again for our next conversation. Mwah. Take care.
Bye.